Hello. Hello, is Laureen there? Is this the IRS? No, this is <laughs> the Wise <laughs> Guy <laughs> Show. Hi, Laureen. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the Wise Guy Show. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> when you see when you see a number you don't recognize, I always assume it's the IRS. <laughs> so I no. always say, is this the IRS? They don't call you know. up. They just send stuff in the well, mail. Well, we have a few actors in here. They could play the IRS. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Certified <laughs> mail and all. <laughs> how's, Hi. How's it going? Uh, uh, it's going, it's going, it's going okay, actually. I'm leaving for the Houston Horror Film Festival on Thursday morning, so I'm really excited about that. Nice, nice. everything's opening at, up. At, nice. At the Marriott Hotel. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, slowly but surely. I've done two movies back-to-back, very small parts, but, but, uh, one was Amityville Cop. It was a rip-off of Maniac Cop. <laughs> <laughs> And the other one is called uh, Staycation, all about the pandemic. Oh, wow. Uh, so just small parts. But I've got a, a big part coming up in something else. So, But what? It, what? It, it's, it's been slow for everybody. You know, things are just barely picking up. And we can finally take off our damn masks. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. You know, this is Which jump- I never wore in the first place. This, <laughs> this, is, jump- this is Jumping Gennaro here. I just want to say, when you said IRS... Hi. I- uh, how you doing? I was I was about to say yes because it kind of is a little bit of a Italian radio station. So I thought that with the IRS, what you were talking about, good the abbreviation. Good, for good, oh, good plan, man. that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, you guys are mobsters. I no, 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 wise guys, wise, wise guys. guys. Um, Laura, well, actually, you're wise guys. L- Lorraine, I, 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 let me introduce myself. I am Freddie the Fireman. I'm here with Joey Cat. Hey, jo- Joey Cat. Hi, Lorraine. Obviously, Jumper Gennaro Hi. and uh, one of our in studio guests. He's also an actor. Alex Tavis is in the house. Hey, Welcome. Lorraine. Hi. How are, how are you? you? Besides Annette and our uh, photographer Anthony, so there's there's actually five Italians, a Greek, and, and a Puerto Rican. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, I love you guys' accents. I love the New, the New Jersey accent. It's so sexy. We have and accents. Tough. The, the, the Puerto Rican is uh, actually our sound engineer, and his name is Robert, but we call him Robert. <laughs> 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 we got Joey Cat. Well, <laughs> she's doing a cat. <laughs> now, now, who's the, Freddy the fireman? Who's Freddy the fireman? I'm the host, Freddy the fireman, right here. Are you a real fireman? I'm a retired firefighter from Newark, New Jersey. Thank you for your service. Yes. You, have you ever traveled I'm to well, New? Have you ever traveled to Newark, Newark Airport in New Jersey? Um, I, you, you know, I, I've been to New Jersey, but I was at the in Parsippany. Oh, okay. Parsippany. Oh, you were at, at the, the, the Chiller Theater? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was there. Oh, wow. wow. Five years, four years ago. Oh, wow. Do you know where that is? Yes, we sure. do the Chiller all the time. They've just been closed because of the COVID. Yeah, yeah. Well, are you, are you uh, doing any show. anything? In, so you had to fly into New Jersey through Newark Airport. Yes, I did. Well, that that the city that I worked as a firefighter in the, in the city of Newark. Oh, the beautiful how long were you city a of Newark. How Twi- long were you a firefighter? Twenty five years. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. I always wave to firemen and, and throw them my phone number when I see them. Uh, <laughs> they throw it back. Well, they throw if, it back, if, but... if you look up Newark, you'll know that I, I mean I, I'm as real as a fireman as they come. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But um. Oh. Let's talk about uh, Laureen and uh, I want. Is it Laureen or, or Lauren? How do they say? How do they call you? Lauren. It's Lorraine. 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 Yeah. Lorraine. 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 Pretty much well known for Maniac Cop, and uh, you did not only one, two, but you also known a few other things. What was your favorite role to play? On uh, the movie Sky that I did with Diane Kruger recently, I got a well a couple of years ago. I got a fabulous review from the uh, Hollywood Reporter. Oh, nice, awesome. nice. That's yeah. Cool. They said they said the best thing about the movie is Lorene Landon. They wish the entire film was about Lorene. Wow. Uh, I had wow. I had a huge huge part in it, but uh, Diane Kruger was one of the producers and starred in it. 
Uh, so she kept telling me that you're stealing the scenes from me. Stop stealing the scene from me. And so I got cut out of a lot of the film, but that's that, that and all the marbles, the wrestling movie I did with Peter yes, Fox. That was another one. Absolutely. Well, that, that all the marbles. This, this, and I, the jury and I, the jury, I, the jury. That's an, but, yeah. You but, said Peter Fox. What did, what tell that us? That was all the marbles. That was yes, the I know. Uh, tell us that experience. Columbo, right? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. they auditioned, they auditioned 2000 girls great. for it. Wow. wow. And they narrowed it down to the two dumbest ones they could find. Oh. So no, no, they, no. they narrowed it down to the two. Uh, they they first went looking for good actresses, eh? And and they couldn't find good actresses, so they went and and looked good good wrestlers, wrestlers. They couldn't find uh, good wrestlers to play actors, so they looked for actors to play wrestlers. Is what they did. Okay. So we went through training for about uh, eight nine months, and out of uh, two thousand girls, I was. Lucky enough to get it. Wow, that's because, nice. because I was so athletic. I was, you know, I always did my own stunts in all my movies. Always, I still do. Did he? Did so, he? Did he try to do a Columbo like investigation when he auditioned you? Of course he did. <laughs> now, what's this? Uh, I, what's this? I hear about. Um, you know, before all this act, and you were training to become a police officer. Yes, I was. I went to Biscalo Academy, uh, downtown L.A. when I got out of high school. Uh, I wanted to be a police officer. Wow. And I, I went for about 14 weeks. and But they always teased me and pushed me and called me Betty Boop because I always wore sex, sexy dresses, right? <laughs> uh, and, well, and I did fine. I did fine. I, 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 you know, I aced everything. But when it came to the shooting range, when it came to shooting um, the, um, the pigeons, eh? When it came to shooting the pigeons, I couldn't shoot the pigeons. I was too oh, scared. <laughs> Not, I, I couldn't do it. I thought, this is going to be a human being someday, and I'm sure I'll turn the, the gun on myself. Wow. Uh, yeah, I could never, 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 ever uh, shoot a person. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was going to say, this could you could have been uh, L- Laureen the cop instead of uh, Laureen the actress. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. I could have been. I really wanted to be a police officer. Yeah. What was it? What I is, really did. What inspired you to be a to want to be a police officer? Um. Anybody in your family? Or was it somebody? You just something I that you? I think. I think it was just uh, just the whole idea of saving people's lives and. And taking care of the community and reaching out. Cause you mean the I was, real, you know, I was you, very outgoing. You mean the real reason why you're supposed to be an officer, and some people forget, right? Mm-hmm. Did yeah. You have, did you ever play a cop, Lorraine? Yeah, and it's a, it's a maniac cop. Maniac cop. Yeah. yeah. I, played a, I played a detective in Maniac Cop. Or, Hello, what are you? What are you smoking? <laughs> I, I was, I was kidding. No, I was that, to do that out there. That's, that's. He's just, th- he's the actor. Who's just, you know, he's just yeah, acting had, right now. You know, he's acting he's like you don't know. He's our in studio guest <laughs> sure. So he has no information on you like I do. <laughs> no, but I was, I was actually kidding. I knew that. that I, you oh, played the main character. He was just, bust, he was just busting. See, he's a great actor, man. He exactly. got me well, for you, you believed it. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a he good actor. Like he didn't know who I was. Of course, I know. Well, no, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know who I am. We know exactly who you are. You were the stewardess in an airplane, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was. Te- yes, I was. I was Testa. Yes, Testa. Yeah. Did, did I had you a big part in that too? How how, how, how much shot. fun was that though? With all the comedians, it was a blast working with Sonny Bono and uh, everybody. I mean, everybody was in the movie. It was everybody had a cameo in it, eh? Yeah. yeah. So I had, a, I had a wonderful time doing that. We shot it at Paramount. Uh, Paramount Studios and and uh, William Shatner was a hoot. He was out of his mind, of course. <laughs> I was gonna say, as usual. Great, all great these, sense of humor. All these different characters. This is jumping Janeiro again. All these different characters, but was there a lot of you know uh, blooper moments that you guys like? Was it hard? I always think that when you got that many characters. Uh, of, of that caliber, that you'd be cracking up the whole set, like you'd never get oh, to a Oh, there shoot. were a lot of blooper moments. There were a lot of a lot of swearing. Oh yeah, there was a lot of swearing. So they had to uh, reshoot that because that most of the actors would swear. You know. I mean, you'd be cracking up. Saying, you'd be cracking up. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh good. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Are you doing? Uh, are you working on anything upcoming? Anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, I just finished a movie. I just finished a movie called um, Staycation, 
I play Tabitha, and it's all about the pandemic. It's all about the pandemic, and I play, I play um, uh, um, an influencer, right? Like an uh, Instagram influencer who's dying from the virus, and she's she's um, uh, promoting her wine and all her uh, vitamins and all that crap. Oh. And then before that, I did uh, a movie. I did a movie called. Uh, what was it called? Oh, uh, Amityville Cop, where I played uh, Ciara, a cult leader, mm. and it was a fabulous role that I played. <clears throat> and we did we just shot both of those movies in the last uh, month, actually. So, so now I'm going now I'm going to Chiller Theater. Or not Chiller Theater. I'm going to the Marriott Hotel for, for um, oh, film festival. That's Houston Horror Film Festival. Yeah. A lot of cast from the uh, Ho- Halloween are going to be there. Tyler Mays. Oh, we met Tyler. Yeah. I want to. I want to ask you though. Um, you you. I see. I see uh, a lot of horror mixed in with a lot of your. Do you do you do you prefer horror movies? I hardly do any horror. I've hardly yeah. done any horror in my life. I mean, I've been a horror on my life, but that's another <laughs> story. But, but no, wicked, like wicked. my daddy used to say, my father used to say, Lorene, as long as there are sidewalks, you will always be gainfully employed. <laughs> See, you didn't think I knew who you were, but I know that you were in Days of Our Lives. So, there yeah, you know. I was in Days yes. of Our Lives. How'd you know that? I just know. I just, just, just like I knew, and I was just playing around that you were doing Maniac Cop. There you go. Oh, you're looking at me. You're looking me up on IMDb. No, or... no, uh, no, no. Well, just we're so not you see, wait, there's no oh, phone viewer. here. Lauren, Lauren, just so you know, oh. Alex was in. Uh, one Life to Live and All My Children. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, so Alex, soaps, Alex soaps, what's your last name? What's Tavis, your last name? Tavis, T A V as in Victor I S. Tavis, Alex Tavis. Your name yeah. sounds very familiar. Does it? I don't know. I don't, I don't, aren't, you, aren't you hosting a game show? You talk about, ah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're a comedian. Well, he actually, yeah. he actually, is, you know, he's kind got of the curly habit. hair. He's got, got the got curly hair, the little grays on the side. You know, could yeah, probably right. play the yeah, next Alex one. Trebek. Exactly. There you go. When he was much younger, of course. I'm yeah. joking, Alex Trebek. I'm joking. God rest his soul. Yes. Yeah. 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 R.I.P. Wow. Well, I'm gonna look you up, Alex. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know your name. I know your name very well, but. I have to. I have to look up. Yeah, no face. worries. There, there are a lot of us uh, wonderful acting souls out there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there yeah. are. Well, yeah. I just want to say, Lorreen, when you're coming, when you when you do, I know you're going to be back at Chiller. We're going to come in and we're going to meet you. And we're going to give you a, a Wise Guy T-shirt. We're going to thank you for doing the show. But uh, uh, just want you to know, we we uh, we always remember everybody who's on our show, and you're automatically in, incorporated into the family. Thank you. How with, sweet of you to say with that. With t-shirts. With t-shirts. I, with I feel t-shirts. like I know you. I feel like I know you guys. But I don't know why, but it's, I feel like I've known you yeah, at we, least an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably met at Chiller. We meet. We we do a lot of media, and we go around doing interviews, and we and we meet a lot of guests. Yeah, but um, we have that effect on people. They never forget. I would us. love to do Chiller Theater again. Uh, uh, can you get me in there? Absolutely. We mm-hmm. we could definitely get you in there. Uh, Please do. Kevin, I would love to. Kevin is, is into, our friend. Yeah. Please ask him. I How about Horicon? Yeah. How about Horicon? Horicon. Yeah, I know. That's in um, well, that's at Atlantic City. The show, but we're also friends with them. We do some media for them. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. I love doing. I I love doing these autograph shows. I love meeting uh, fans of the films that I'm in, and. Uh, uh, Butch Patrick's going to be there as well. By Lane, good friend of ours. There. You know, the last time we saw Butch Patrick, J- Jump a Janeiro was Eddie, filling right? up a cannoli for him. No. <laughs> yeah. When? Eddie, that was my favorite show growing up. That was in Atlantic City. That was my favorite. Yeah, that was show. at Horror you're, Con. You would, you'd appreciate Atlantic City at the showboat. Really? We yeah. just did. Um, we just did um, celebrity, celebrity boxing. boxing there. When you watch this, you know, when you watch the show, you know, we're filming. Yeah. It. When, when you watch the show, you'll see. Uh, some clips of what happened in, uh, yeah, in celebrity well. box, celebrity yeah. boxing. How do I find? How do I see that? Well, Where do I see it? We'll send you the link. link. Well, you'll definitely know, uh, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll well. I'm actually going to break the interview down so you can have your, you can hear your whole interview in its entirety once I. And you'll be able to it. see us as well. Yes. Oh, good. Because yeah. I never, I never listened to myself. Actually, we, we also want to thank. Um, I, I, Eileen for making this interview happen. Eileen is Thank you, Eileen. Dear Eileen Shapiro. You know it. Eileen and, Shapiro is the best. And Annette, the talent coordinator who made sure this all happened. Mm-hmm. 
and that's here. Who? Annette. Um, Annette, and also Jimmy. Hi. And Hi, sweetie. And R Roberto <laughs> giving us this, the sound and the good connection. There you go. Roberto it's Jimmy and drum the roll. And the drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, when is this going to be on? Uh, we are. We're on live right now, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, edit the show, and we're gonna send you your interview. But um, we we are. You're, we, gonna, you're gonna edit the show and take me out, of course. No, no, we're gonna leave that. No part. cutting room floor. We're, we're gonna, gonna take you out when you come to Jersey. Oh yeah, definitely. All right? definitely. How about that? Definitely. Get me to Jersey. Get me to Jersey. I'd love to see you guys. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Listen, when you're you when promise. you're. A promise made is a debt unpaid. Remember the that. The wise guys don't don't uh, go back on our promises. We when we say we'll do it no. because we know a guy. But you got to let us know when you're in guy. Jersey so we know you're here. Yeah, of course. Annette will send the information though. But well, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna have to do one thing. You're gonna have to sing us you know a couple lines of your favorite song in order to <laughs> anything you like. My favorite song. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to sing it. So it, it could be a, it could be Judy Garland somewhere over the rainbow. I mean, even no. though we've Don't heard put it a her thousand. On the spot. Don't put her on the spot. I will always love you. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really yeah. All right. Whitney. Oh, oh, little Whitney. That's awful. <laughs> well, I got, so Whitney here, you're going to love this story. That's better than Whitney. Well, let me just say this. Whitney Houston <laughs> grew yes. up in East Orange, New Jersey, yeah. in Essex County, which is not too far. I know she's from New Jersey. Yeah, I know she was not from New Jersey. Not too far from where we all grew up. Yep. So, uh, so we, we have, she's our little sister in heaven. No. I love, I love, I love. Now sister. I hear a little Canadian accent here. Yes, sir. I am from. Can uh, are you happy Toronto. that the Montreal Canadiens are are uh, are in the? Are, are you a hockey fan? Of course I am. Are you paying attention to what's it? going on here? Do you? Canadians? I know everything that's going on. Are you? It's two to two. The yeah. Vegas, uh, Vegas is ahead, and I love the uh, Vikings. I'm going to watch yeah. the Vegas Knights are on in a few minutes, so yeah. I got to go pretty soon. And and I don't care about Montreal. Or Toronto. Oh, you're a Vegas Knights fan? Hell yeah. Oh, I love the Vegas Knights. Oh, wow. Are you kidding Carlson? I... Are you kidding Carlson? He's the oh, best. <laughs> Pat wow. ready? all of those guys. Are you kidding? I can't I believe it because I thought you were a Montreal fan because they haven't been in the cup finals for a long time. No, no, no. I'm a Vegas whole. I'm a Vegas fan. The best fan. is yet I to love come. NHL. Do you guys like the NHL? Oh, I love! I've uh, watched the Islanders uh, the other night. Pittsburgh and, Penguins. Uh, yeah, it, Islanders lost last night, eight zero. Hello. Yeah, yeah eight, that's all right. It ain't over yet. Can you believe that? Can you believe eight zero? That's the highest scoring game in the history of the HNL playoffs. That's really tough. Did you know that? Yeah. That's a, that's well, a, that's all right. That's that a tough one to swallow. That's unbelievable! Right. I, I watched the entire game. I watch hockey every did, night. Did that's you watch? Life. Did you watch the game before that though, when they won? Yes, of course I that did. That was a great game. Yes, it was a great yeah, game. Uh, are you kidding? There's nothing like hockey. The Love fastest it. playoff the hockey too. Oh, the best! It's like playoff a whole other sport. So I'm, 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 I'm very curious to ask you this. So uh, yes, of course. You've, you've lived in uh, Canada a majority of your life. No, no, I came down here when I was about four or five years old. Eh? But I always go back up to see my relatives and my father when he was alive. I always went up to see my daddy when he was alive. Um, and I went up, always Auntie Audrey, all my relatives, everybody. The reason I'm why the reason I'm Vancouver. asking is now you, you go there and, and there's obviously some very, very cold, you know, uh, days and nights. And then so yes. do you appreciate, you know, weather wise? What do you like? Uh, I miss the cold. I love the cold. I wish it would rain. Wow. I love tornadoes and clement weather. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yes. Oh. See, that's, yeah. that's what's interesting. Oh, yeah. no. Tornadoes. That's, uh, I love visiting. Oh, yeah. I love visiting in the summer. I, I, wow. I really like Montreal. Oh, no, no, you I don't. don't. It's Montreal. terrible here. It's <laughs> terrible here. It's been up in the uh, 90s and 100s. So you it's don't want to be here. Montreal. No, Montreal. I, I love, no, I love uh, Canadian weather. I love the weather up there. and um, I, I love the people of Canada. You speak um, French? Um, all I knew is Demi Pampelmus. <laughs> What's that mean? Small grapefruit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it? Well, okay, so uh, you definitely didn't uh, yes, go. Um, yeah, merci beaucoup. And well, 
Lori, really like, whatever. <laughs> Lori, I, I want to ask you: Is there a website, um, uh, a, a media page? I'm on page? Instagram. Instagram. I got I got kicked off of uh, uh, Twitter last year because I'm a big Trump supporter. Oh, oh. So. a girl. <laughs> well, I got kicked off because by by uh, what Jack Dorsey kicked me off because I'm a big Trump supporter. Oh wow! Well, all I was saying was nice things about our president, who I love very much. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love him too. We all love. Well, thank you. Yeah. You can't say that out it's here. Cr- it's crazy. Our, our get, we have guests on the show. We try, we don't really get political, but we we always you started we, it. We have guests that go back and forth. Who don't like them? Who likes right. them? Who don't like them? And listen, we yeah, but right. once somebody is in the seat, yeah, as the, the president, that's what you got to do. You, you can't gotta follow the, the You respect. can't. You got to show respect. But I, love, I do, love President Trump. Lauren, I want to thank you for for giving us the opportunity for uh, the interview, and I want you to m- keep your promise too that when you come yes. to New Jersey, that you let us know that you're coming, and uh, our photographer wants to ask you something. No, what's her name on Instagram? Oh, what, oh your name, your I'll, name on Instagram. The handle. Lorene under. Uh, <laughs> uh, shameless. What is it? The shameless. What's it called? Promo. The shameless Trumpster. <laughs> no, no shameless Trumpster. I love my president. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Lorene underscore Landon. So follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna follow, follow you in a little back. while. Yes, absolutely. Uh-huh. We'll follow yeah. you, and, and you keep your promise. I promise you that if you come to New Jersey and we all meet you, you're gonna love where we go. I promise you that I will take you all out to dinner. Oh, oh okay. No, we gotta That's take my you out. Promise. A promise made is a debt unpaid. Eh? You're you're in our neighborhood. You you we treat you to dinner. Oh no no! I'll treat you to you dinner. You bring a red. Treat. You bring listen, the red wine. We have families with restaurants and uh, just me. Listen, we'll we'll meet up and we'll worry about it when we're there. But I want to thank you so much. Let's give another hand. All Come right. Maureen, Landon, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on your show. And uh, we'll see you soon, if uh-huh. not at Chiller Theater in uh, New Jersey somewhere. God bless and everybody. Bonasera, take your God bless. Bonasera. Good night. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay. Bye. All right. What a great interview that was. Very Come on, nice. Laureen Land. I'm sorry I got to cut it short because we have another interview coming.